Hello, everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Kaylee McEnany. Joining me today is Molly Line, Fox News correspondent, Julie Banderas, Fox News anchor, Kennedy podcast host of Kennedy Saves the World. So, Kennedy, first of all, that is not a political question. Mm. There's reporting that the White House is in detailing Stat. campaign declined to comment for the story. Isn't that interesting? Because her office is the one that you know, she was all too eager to take the mantle. And, you know, she's been clumsily walking this tightrope. The win situation part, that's interesting and important, Julie, because for Harris, her campaign backgrounded to CNN that her highest... concerned about his own record. She, on the other hand, should, should come forward and say, look, I I maybe did not d agree with this particular policy Proven. that she's going to do any better or any differently than Joe Biden did. Mm -hmm. Well, there was another moment in the briefing, and this is about former Chief of oh, State's yeah. proud and totally supportive, but we all saw him put on that MAGA hat from a voter. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. So, I mean, think what it must be like for Joe Biden to be sitting, sitting back. where he is. You have to be saying to yourself, wow, not only was I stabbed in the back, but I was thrown aside for this, and it's not getting any better. And as we get closer to Election Day, does it we can't really cogitate it. It's not really something that we can, uh, you know, manage to think our way through and visualize. And I think that's why, you know, as you're saying. Oh. I think one of the, the points that she's making with all three of these answers is that the White House had four I years. I never got a question like that, like, all oh, the sexism, oh, my gosh. No, no, like, that poor thing. We should get her a little blankie and we, we should, should be to cover for the vice president's poll numbers. More on numbered next. Notably, Julie, the Washington Post had a poll that showed 70 percent of Americans are against this. OK, I have clear eyes. specifically the, the black and the Hispanic vote. Well, guess what? It's not working anymore because it hasn't worked for four years. Hispanics are sick and Let's tired. Talk about that bill that dropped in January when they first took over. Here's the fact sheet from that bill. You can still find this on the White House website. You can see President Biden well, investments in border technology. But the premise of the bill was legalizing immigrants. Yeah. So one of the answers, this is a consistent answer yeah, from, from none other than CNN on that very point. Watch this. Member. No death penalty. That's the kind of prosecution work she did. Yeah. And when she was AG, let's look at a couple of things that she did. First of all, she wrote the ballot in California, the disbanding of the California Bureau of Narcotic Enforcement, which was essentially a mini DEA that existed in California. All those agents which were in an enforcement role. She doesn't go to the border to find out. Now, their claim is, oh, you were never border czar. You were root cause czar. A lot of them are being human trafficking. I could go on and on about this. Speaking of the border, I border on speechless. When they say we're the ones who were good on the border and the Republicans were not, Donald it's not Trump. theoretical. Like there are actually fewer border crossings under President Trump than there are in the three years. Some issues, and we'll see if it changes anything. We can at least say she did better than Joe Biden with Charlemagne. Go back and Google that if you forgot what happened there. Team Harris is devolving to finger pointing as Democrats worry Harris could lose Pennsylvania to former President Trump. That's next. Okay. Yes, she has been out there some, but if I wanted to be president and someone gave me the nomination on a silver platter without getting votes, I would say, can I be in a swing state every hour? Yeah, right. And, and Pennsylvania is a tough state. There's, there's a lot of different demographics in Pennsylvania, must win state from the inner city all the way out to the steel, you know, steel fields and blue collar workers. So it's one that you really down with Brett Baer later today where she may get some follow up questions. Yeah. And, you know, Paul, the complaints about her are that she lacks people in her campaign relationships with officials in Philadelphia, that they're not deploying surrogates and that she's not doing enough outreach. Which to she voters. is. You have to say to yourself, ah, we lost out to Michigan because she's concerned about the Muslim vote, low information voter, somebody who doesn't pay deep, deep attention to the news. Your impression of her, I'm sorry, is just somebody to directly to compare them to where we're at now. Um, he's ahead in six of the seven battleground states on real clear politics. And Biden won Georgia but for the way they did polling in 2016 and 2020. Yes. But I, I think that's why you're seeing the degree of panic that you are in the Democrat Party. Actually, voter registration. Uh, you heard Harry Inton over at CNN say, in order for Republicans to win, Democrats usually yeah. have a three-point advantage. Republicans are yeah. leading now. I guess Kamala Harris needs All right, a little bit of time, new narrative. More outnumbered okay. in a moment. <laughs>